Matty V joined by manager Steve Gundogan after two 0 victory against Halifax in pre-season here at Hurst Cross. Steve, you're back. The lads are back to winning ways. Yeah, uh, that's what happens when I'm back. <laughs> Al Byrne takes it and we lose. So uh, that's one for his salt box. But <laughs> no, it's. Uh, I mean, I will say, um, I think it does show what a fantastic group of players have assembled and the lads that we've retained from last year that I can go on a a week's holiday um, during the season, uh, sorry, during the off season in pre-season, uh, to spend just a little bit of time with my kids um, because they're going away soon and I won't be able to go on that because the season starts. So to be able to take my kids away and uh, get a little bit of a tan, I'm quite happy. There's a bit of a tan line there. Um, but the fact that I can trust um, Alburn, Jack McCourt, uh, to help and support Nigel, who was obviously the, the, the main man in charge, and Jake, uh, the Keith coach, and Paul Jolly, who was doing all the work behind. It just shows what a great group of people we've assembled and, and kept that I can go on holiday and trust them to keep the standards, the performance. Joking aside about the result, uh, I've watched the game back, I thought it was outstanding against Warrington. I had people ringing me and saying how good the performance was, and the fact that they've done that while I'm not there is brilliant, and it's a testament to them. Um, tonight we just carried on. I thought we played some excellent football at times. The pitch, even though there's some unbelievable work going on on the pitch at the moment, with the heat that we've got, it's just really dried it out and it just stifled our game a little bit in terms of us trying to get our passing combinations off. Um, I thought they were really sharp in the first half, um, but I thought we more than matched them in terms of good chances. Um, and then, uh, see you later, Burkett, well done. Um, and then I thought, we were very much in the game and in the second half I thought we were excellent. I thought um, we, we didn't really let them have anything. I, I don't recall a, a chance really of no in the second half. And I think what's been really impressive with us is our younger lads. And I keep repeating myself, when they've come on, they've given us a freshness and a new energy and still played the same way. And, you know, we've gone and beat a national league side that um, that's a, a great performance and a great win. Now, they've not got a full strength side. Um, but they've got a lot of first team players there and a lot of young lads fighting to be a National League player and uh, that comes with the responsibility of putting a performance and we beat them 2-0 at home and I thought we were good value for that. Um, but I do want to thank um, he's a top, top guy. Um, he, he's always been a soundbite for me during the seasons with players um, potentially for availability or even just advice uh, as a young manager coming through and he's done that for the last few years so for him to bring his side to here uh, on a pre-season with them only having one more to go you know uh, a lot of respect for him and the football club and a big thank you so been a good night overall mate and uh, yeah uh, really impressed you mentioned that in fact seven want to go we have one to go Charlie here 12 o'clock at Hurst Cross on Saturday afternoon all vision now on that Blythe Spartans game in 10-12 days time here at Earth's Cross, kicking off the NPL season. Yeah, it's come around quick, hasn't it? Oh, it she's it, telling me. Yeah, it just doesn't feel like we've had much contact time. And what I would say is to only be uh, together six weeks, uh, five weeks maybe, and, and what we're producing at the moment, um, yeah, it's gone really well. We can't get too carried away. Friendlies are friendlies, the results are immaterial, but the performance is there at the moment, so I'm really impressed with that. But then Chorley will be another different test, um, a return for Warren Clark as well, which would be fantastic to see him. And it's always good to see players uh, progress if they've come through our ranks at any point uh, to help them progress up the league. And it'd be great to see Warren, but he is going to get kicked up and down Dale by every player because he's too <laughs> quick. Um, so yeah, but we're looking forward to that game. And that's a nice game for us just to get ready, match ready for a big game against Blythe. And look, there's a lot of... Um, talk about what's going on with Blythe at the moment and uh, we certainly won't be taking that for any granted uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for um, we certainly won't be taking it as gospel with what's going on because pre-season is irrelevant they could sign five or six players next week and be outstanding against us so um, we'll we'll keep working hard um, we'll, we'll go into the game against Charlie training on Thursday um, we're going to have a competitive training session Thursday to get everyone up to speed as well who hasn't really played much minutes tonight. Um, we've got Charlie on Saturday, then we're going to have a team bonding session in the afternoon on the Saturday because it's an early kick-off um, just to cement those relationships. And then, yeah, what a, uh, what a fantastic opportunity to play at home, first game of the season and kick off what was going to be a really emotional, long, long season with bumps in the road, wins, losses, draws, hopefully more wins than any and uh, hopefully it'll be a season to enjoy.